Coral has been around for many years. I just didn't recognize that it was a coral. I just thought of them as rocks. I didn't know they were live animals, but going to school in Guam, then I first recognized that these rocks are actually live animals. They mean a lot to the reef. Palau. From above, it looks like just a small chain of islands located in the Pacific Ocean. However, it is a world within a world. Crystal blue waters, vibrant green rock islands, and the colorful corals and diverse marine life that call it home have distinguished this Micronesian island country as one of the top diving destinations in the world. To go beneath the surface of Palau is to witness a world that is magical and irreplaceable. Everywhere you go in Palau, you can see the ocean, you know, and people are tied to the resources. Coral Reefs has provided the proteins for many of the Palauans and Pacific Islanders for centuries and continues to do so. Coral really, I think it's a way of life for Palau. You know, it's a source of food, source of inspiration, source of culture, uh, everything. With the occurrence of major environmental changes in the 90s, resulting in coral bleaching, as well as other challenges such as sedimentation, destructive fishing practices, and invasive species, Coral reefs came under threat, and the people of Palau needed to find a solution. We can see from 1998 uh, the effect of a warming of water on coral reefs. Nobody knew what was wrong with the corals. We began to accept that we have to invest in science. The Nature Conservancy uh, came early in the 1990s and helped establish the Palau Conservation Society. Conservation awareness and environmental awareness were introduced to Palauans. The Nature Conservancy uh, really helped establish a lot of what we see today as conservation practices and strategies that are being implemented. Critical partnerships with conservation groups such as the Nature Conservancy have made Palau a leader in conservation both regionally and globally. These joint efforts include better monitoring and protection of Palau's coral reef ecosystems, including a new stock assessment tool for fisheries, which is helping to provide management solutions. The marine protected areas are uh, helping conserve some of the fish because the fish are an important part of that and keeping the reefs healthy. That's why it allows this rapid recovery of the reefs around Palau. So monitoring became a very important component of the Coral Reef uh, Center work. And this can all contribute to the uh, designing of protected areas and incorporating resilience. These solutions developed in Palau continue to evolve to benefit ocean ecosystems around the world. We have a lot to offer to the world in terms of what these resources can contribute to the lives of people outside of Micronesia. Together, we can help maintain the natural balance that supports Palau's diverse marine ecosystems. Conservation work that uh, we're doing in Palau not only uh, impact the lives of uh, Palauan people, but it has a lot of impact in terms of empowering communities and um, empowering people to take ownership and their traditional rights to their resources. With all these threats that we are facing, we need to find a way that we continue to have these resources uh, to the future. When you help support the Nature Conservancy's scientists and partners, you are helping write a new story for Earth's irreplaceable coral reefs and the people and marine life that depend on them. Go to nature.org slash Palau to learn more.